Don't cry over spilt milk. I said this today to a uh, training client because I just ruptured my bicep this morning trying to do a um, pull-up or a reverse lever. Um, and I was telling her that, you know, you can't cry over it. So I'm heading to get my examination to see what I have to do for my torn bicep. You see a little wiggle. Yeah, it... now do it on the other side. Oh boy. Big difference with that, it's kind of wild. It see, like, it, it, it just drops down, yeah. right? Getting my bicep taken care of. It's like weird, like it doesn't feel, there's no pain. It just feels like, it's like stiff. Like, like I feel like, it's like. I'm being more than your ride. <laughs> Die. When you tear a bicep or when you tear um, an Achilles or a quad tendon, it hurts for a couple of days and then the pain starts to dissipate. So if you don't fix it, people a lot of times will just say, oh, it's getting better. But the muscle itself, even though it's not attached, it just it doesn't hurt as much. It pulled off the bone, so we're going to find the end of the tendon, find the bone, and then fix it back into a little tunnel. For the You're looking at two and a half months before I can start. Weight training again, like that's everything though, like chest press, shoulder press, back. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right, cool. And one more question. Would you be looking at a picture of it? Sure. Please? All right, cool. Thank you. Ugh. As long as you don't shine, good luck, eh? Thank you, baby. Love you. We're all happy that you're better. Doc told me, do not let him do anything major for 10 weeks. 10 weeks, dude, that's fucking crazy. Yo, day three. Yeah, it's wild. I don't think I can't work out. Thinking about it in a negative light is only gonna make the process seem more miserable. Everything happens for a reason. And it's your job to find what that reason is and you can find a negative reason, a heavy reason. It's gonna make you feel unhappy when you think about it, or it's gonna give you some light. Day five of surgery. Who am I without working out? Um, a little tingly, I have been taking the Vicodin First couple days I took it because it was making it feel a little bit better for, for sleep reasons. I'm gonna try to compete in the US Cup and in the world. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. That's totally out of the question. That was a question of, of, of if I was gonna compete or not this year and I was talking about it back and forth and it's obviously clearly gave me the sign that I won't be competing for a while. I'm a believer in the law of attraction, so maybe I was looking for a sign to tell me that I should or shouldn't compete. And I clearly got the sign. So that's the message, message of the day, I guess, is ask what you want. Ask yourself what you want. And be open to the thoughts that come into your brain about what you truly want. I wasn't, I wasn't specific enough. Most likely, I said, I'm looking for a sign. I want a sign. I want a sign. Do I compete? Do I not compete? What's a sign? Boom! There's a sign. Okay. Now, the first thing, you know, start forming these cuffs around you a little bit. Okay. You know. Does this slide up? Or not? See if you can get your fingers around here. Little over a month after. It's still numb around here. It's weird. It feels weird. I can feel it, touch it. I moved some nerves over actually to get to the bicep. So it's just weird. A little atrophy. 
Right, you can see from there. It's a wild experience, man. Look at that. Relax completely. <laughs> it's just about 14. Whoa. Let me see this one. This is, this is 14 and a half. Dude, my biceps are only 14 No, inches. it's not flex, dude. He's 16 and a half. Really? Wow. All right, this is good. This is Here. fucking real, real. As flex as you can get it. Real numbers right now. Um, can you flex at all? You are 14 and three quarters. Wow. 16 and a half. 14 and three quarters. It's almost true. It's 1.7. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Karen. The graphics are always much better. Film the whole thing. Oh, yeah. A lot of times I don't even edit it. And I don't, exactly. I don't even put it on YouTube. I just watch it and yeah, yeah. reminisce, you know? Today, we could obviously we'll do some of the usual stuff, but uh, start some of those lifting exercises. with these guys because they're letting me do what I need to be doing so I don't get hurt. It feels nervy in the back on the way down. What we're doing is we are stimulating the, the nerve for the bicep to make sure that we get a uh, good solid contraction. In this case, to try and build up, continue to build up that biceps muscle strength. 13 weeks post post surgery, I got the okay last week from my surgeon that I can start working out. I mean, honestly, it feels great. What's up, man? Not much. How are you? I feel like a fucking rock star, bro. Awesome. Yeah, I'm very surprised. How does um, symmetry look as far as when you're comparing one to the other? I mean, do you want to see it? Sure. Well, you did it right. You went slow in the beginning, and right. now you're increasing. We said it three months, you could start doing as you felt comfortable, so. You gave me the green light, bro, and I went in. Yeah. So. I mean, I, I, I'm auto-regulating. I'm at 41. I'm not. I'm not looking to get hurt again. You know what I mean? So I'm very, I'm very taking that 16 weeks off. I think was the best thing I could have done. Yeah. I'm just letting my body recover fully. We got the length good too. I was happy about that because you said you had to pull it down. You had to cut a little bit. Yeah. So I was worried about like known for my peaks. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping that I wouldn't lose that. And it's straightened out for me. Yeah. And this over time, we'll get. Uh, lighter in terms of the scar, there's a little bit of scar tissue there, but to be honest with you, everything looks great. I think everything is on track. Listen. Thank you very much, sir. So we did flex and unflex, mm -hmm. right? So I got to empty yeah. it off. Now mind you, it's good done. It's not cold. A little bit of pump. 16. 16. Flex. I stand on the chair for that. Yeah, I can't see shit. 25. Whoa! 17 and three quarters. 
I'll take it. 18. No. Did you not see Come it? on. All jokes aside, I'm very grateful for the progress I've made and thankful for all the people who have supported me and coached me through this this wild journey. And you know, if you're going through something, an injury or something like that, you may not be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel because it's it may be devastating to not have to work out and, and go through something. But I'm here to tell you that it's possible. Just believe in yourself, trust the process, and practice patience. Thank you for watching.